What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. So in a lot of optimization guides, including mine, it's a good idea to turn off full screen optimizations, which you can of course do from the compatibility tab on the properties menu of a program or an EXE. However, as you probably know by now, Xbox Game Pass games, Windows Store apps, etc. don't really have the easiest way of finding where their EXEs are. And in fact, they're actually hidden. So how exactly do we get that menu? Well, you might think creating a shortcut and placing it on your desktop works, but unfortunately it doesn't. What we need to do is in fact go into this hidden directory and right click properties on the EXEs ourselves, much like you would any other program. So for this example, I'll be using Forza 4, which I have on the Xbox Game Pass here, though it works with literally any Windows Store app and or game, and on the Xbox Store as well. So what we need to do is go ahead and take ownership of this invisible folder. I'll hold start and press E to open up a new file browser, and inside of here on the View tab, I'll simply make sure that file name extensions is ticked and hidden items is ticked as well. Then I'll open up the drive that the games are located on. For me, I know I installed them in E drive here. As you can see, I have a Windows Apps folder here, and if you try to open it up on your computer, you'll see that there is an issue. It'll simply say that you don't have permission. What you need to do is right-click this folder, click Properties, then head across to the Security tab and click Advanced down here. Then you'll see this window here. Owner will say something like System or Windows or something other than your username. Click Change over here. Click yes if prompted for admin and you'll see this window here. All you have to do in here is type in your Windows username. In order to find this out, you can open up a new file browser, C, users, and you'll see your username here. In my case, it's techno, so TCNO, check names, and you'll see it updates to my computer's address slash followed by my username. In my case, techno. Click OK, then tick replace owner on sub containers and objects, apply, OK, OK, and OK here. Now we've successfully taken ownership of this folder, we can open it up and explore the files inside of it. If not, in the description down below, you'll find a download link for a program called Take Ownership. After installing it, you'll be able to right click on any folder and inside of the context menu that pops up, you'll see a new Take Ownership button. Upon clicking this and clicking yes for admin, It'll then run through all of the files and folders inside of that directory, taking ownership for absolutely everything inside of it, giving you ownership and access of those files. Do note that for some folders and programs, this just doesn't seem to work, like Age of Empires, whatever the new one is, and this one up there, that didn't work either. Some of them just won't work properly. Not too sure why, but I'm guessing that's new protections that Microsoft has for games and applications, so soon you may not be able to use this method at all. Anyways, opening up the folder, we can see everything inside of here. What we need to do is search for the game name in the top right. Now, previously I did mention that I knew where I installed these on the E drive. If you don't know, you can search your entire system by going to this PC and searching up here for whatever program it is. Why do you need to search exactly? Well, as you can see in here, this one is called Psychonauts, so obviously that's Psychonauts, but Microsoft.Cardinal, what on earth could this be? Well, opening it up, scrolling down, you'll see Relic Cardinal, still absolutely no idea what this could be. Well, in fact, opening this up, you can see Age of Empires 4 is busy starting up here, expanding it, or oh, where did it go? There it is. It's called Relic Cardinal WS. So the names don't really match what you would see. It's just a little quirk that you'll have to get used to. Anyways, when you found the game that you want, in my case, I was going to do Sunrise Game, which is Forza. 2021 is Forza 5. This one is Forza 4. I'll right click on Forza Horizon 4, Properties, and inside of here, I can change the compatibility. So, of course, disable full screen optimizations, change my DPI settings, tick that box, application, OK, apply, OK. Awesome. We've now applied compatibility options to a program that's located inside of the Windows Apps folder. However, something else you'll notice is if you try and copy paste files out of here, it won't really work properly and accessing them in any other way other than actually running the program, it won't allow you to do anything with it. You now know how to apply properties and compatibility options to Windows Store apps, Xbox Game Pass games, etc, etc. Thank you all for watching, my name's been Technobi here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!